and welcome back to my channel. This is Battelle from Battelle's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be back with a new side dish for you guys and we're gonna be making my old favorite the string beans. We're going to make them extra garlicky and super crunchy at the same time and so delicious with a combination of the mushrooms inside. This side dish is so perfect for any occasion. It could be a weeknight side dish or your fanciest meal of the year. It will always win. So I'm going to show you all my techniques, how to keep those string beans super crunchy and tasty at the same time. And the best part, they only take only five minutes to prepare. So what's not to love? If you're new over here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post a new recipe every single week and all the measurements for this recipe are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. And if you need some more help with getting your healthier journey started, I have a free ebook for you. It has some breakfast and brunch ideas that are super delicious. You can download it here. Okay, let's jump in to the recipe. So in order to make those garlicky beans, we're going to need a lot of garlic. And I love this very simple and very effective method, which is basically putting the garlic heads in a bowl by cutting the bottom part from them and then pour over some hot boiling water until the garlic is submerged and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then we're going to move on to making our beans. So we're going to boil water and we're going to salt them really, really generously. Once it's bubbly, we're going to transfer our beans and again, we're going to wait for the boiling part and then we're going to put timer for exactly two minutes, not less, not more, two minutes exactly in the timer and then we're ready to transfer them to a colander or to an ice bath water, which is basically water and ice. I find that transferring them to the sink is completely okay as long as we wash them right away with cold running water. It stops the cooking process and I've been doing it for so many years and it works perfectly. We're going to set them aside and then we're going to move on to peeling our garlic. And you're going to find that peeling the garlic is super easy at this stage. We're going to slice the garlic into thin slices and then we're going to move on and cut our mushrooms. You can use whichever mushrooms you love, but I like to keep them pretty chunky. So I'm cutting them just into quarters. We are going to saute our garlic with some olive oil. And before we add the mushrooms, we're waiting for the garlic to be slightly golden. Only then we're going to transfer our mushrooms and we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste and the salt is going to help the mushrooms to release all the moisture. We're going to mix constantly both not to make the garlic get burned and also to get a really nice color on the mushrooms. We develop a really nice flavor and texture on these meaty and beautiful mushrooms. Then we're going to transfer our beans and I like to add two splashes of water, maybe one tablespoon or two just to help deglaze the pan from all those brown and delicious beets. And again, we're going to season with salt and pepper to taste. We're going to mix constantly in order to make sure that all the water evaporates and only then when the pan is slightly dry, we're ready to serve them. The mushrooms over here add such a beautiful texture. They're super, super meaty and have a really beautiful contrast between the beans and the bite of the mushrooms. They're really addictive. This side dish is really fancy, but also super simple. It takes only a few minutes to prepare. And again, it has to do with the technique the beans are still crunchy and the mushrooms are chewy and golden and everything here comes together so beautifully it is amazing for a side dish for a week meal or even for your fanciest meal that you're gonna have it could be thanksgiving it could be holidays it could be shabbat it could be anything that you would like to serve it with this side dish would always always work I hope you're going to give it a try. 
that's it for today my friends i hope you enjoyed i hope you're gonna give these string beans a try if you did don't forget to let me know in the comments below and if you're looking for some more plant-based recipes that are easy delicious vegan and gluten-free check out my cookbook eggless possibilities you can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye, -bye.